everybody and welcome on back to building with whip today is episode number nine of our fantasy castle let's build it also happens to be episode 165 of this survival vanilla world series here which is pretty great and to start this episode off i've been taking a lot of feedback from you guys recently as far as adding in some moss stone throughout our castle build. So I've come in here and started adding it in areas where I think it'd be a little bit more on the wetter side. So you can see it actually creeps all the way up right into that guy. So I've been working about maybe bringing a little bit in right there where these kind of have the crevices and you feel like water would actually be flowing on the build. Also, I do want to add a little bit more onto the bottom of it. So thank you all for that suggestion. That is very awesome. And I think it helps us break away from the stone just the gray stone on stone, everything that we were seeing before. I came back over here because I want to show that off to you guys. A little bit more, as you can see, it kind of inching its way up into that bit. I did also go ahead and bring in a little bit over on this side to bring it out and show you guys what we did on the last episode, or at least since the last episode. And I've been kind of coming in here, bringing up a little bit of the stuff throughout, just kind of right along our grassy front entrance right here. I'm really happy with the overall result. Last episode, we did build up this entire thing here. I had so much fun doing that. Thank you guys all so much for the support on that one. Seems like people are enjoying this series still or enjoying this build in the series still, which is pretty freaking awesome. We added in this upper area with a little bit of a balcony area to kind of look in, check things out, see from the outside, all that good stuff. Yeah, that is where we are at right now in here. Not the safest. But I do have one more thing to show you guys so we can go ahead and fall our way all the way down here. Kind of really cool down in these bits. I don't think it actually connects right in here. It does not. There's no way up to the top. So we can come back out this way, giving you guys a little bit of a tour around the inside of the castle so far. Oh no, that's right in my head. That hurt a little bit. And coming back out this way, that guy is new as well from the last episode. We got a lot of stuff in here. Let's go and see if we can land down in here. Perfect. And what I changed was actually on the inside of this bit. I ended up going ahead and bringing a fence in the middle there and from the outside it looks a little weird on the inside in here but it helps actually break up the windows and make them appear like there's two window panes and I actually really think it gave a good look. It's really subtle to see from the outside. We'll take a look at it maybe again later on when we don't have some shaders on. All right, today's episode, what are we doing today? As you guys probably already know by the title, the thumbnail and everything else, we're going to be working on the feast hall today. I do not have any ideas about how I'd like to do this guy or how I want to make this thing look in general yet. All I know is that I want to go ahead and work on the feast hall and I want to use a lot of end rods as kind of a way to light up this area. A lot of people have been like, dude, you should make a feast hall that looks a lot like the one from Harry Potter where they have all the floating candles, floating lights and everything up above. I think, I think that's a great freaking idea. So we are going to go ahead and turn this into a way of kind of having those big old floating end rod crystal things all the way up there. And I want to really focus on turning this outside area out there into something very, very cool. I'll tell you guys what, though, as you can see, it's not very workable right now. We got to go ahead and get a few things placed in here to make it a little bit better off, something a little bit better for us to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get a layer of dirt down here underneath. And I might go ahead and do a little bit of terraforming and get some of this work out here because we've done a lot of terraforming recently. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of bite the bullet and finish up this side of it. And I'll come back with you guys once we can have a little bit more room where we can work on some things. So I'll be back with you guys soon. From the map here, you can see that we have that terraforming stuff done. But also, side note, look how amazing this area looks. I know we were looking at this map a little while ago, but holy crap, guys, this area looks so cool. I really want to expand all the farmlands and things. Those hay bales and everything sitting right there off to find Zoom, they look so awesome. Yeah, that's all I want to bring you guys in for. Before we talk about this guy too much, have you guys heard of that game Hightail? That thing looks so cool. It's from Hypixel Studios. They got a new development studio to make their own games. Holy crap, that thing's cool. You guys should go check out the trailer for it. It's actually really awesome. All right, back to this stuff. I swear that wasn't an ad. I would love to be a beta tester though. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge if any of you guys know them. Give me in, guys. Give me in. Okay, so what we got going over here, though, is we got a pretty cool cliff face over here. I decided to go with a really similar style to what we had out on the front, um, except doing where we had the caved-in cliffs, because I figured that would be the fantasy seawall out there, and in here it would kind of not really be that caved-in, because there's no waves coming from this little pond. So I came through here with all that good stuff, made it look all pretty pretty, and we have some bone blocks on us, but I don't want to use those ones yet. I was going to go ahead and bring in some grass and stuff into here. But now that I'm thinking about 
we might actually on that little cliff face right there that or that little flattened hill bit well if we had the road come down right there a little bit add in like three houses and a barnyard or in a barn right there then turn all this stuff into fields that'd be super cool anyways back to this guy uh the stuff connects up going all the way throughout here connecting all the way up to our frontal landscape area so we are completely landscaped all the way around the castle minus one little part which i haven't quite tackled yet but yeah that's looking pretty awesome right there the part that we do need to come back in and fill in for another episode would be kind of where this cliff face and the wall along here comes in it looks a little awkward coming back into right here so got to figure out what we're doing on this guy got to even do that top part right up there to make that more detailed finishing up all those little bits i'll probably go ahead and finish that top little bit while we're in here now while i'm thinking about it then the rest of this we'll figure out here pretty soon and now I need to go ahead and kind of get a general game plan what we want to be doing for the feast hall here. I'm thinking we want to go ahead and keep the same idea of doing these large windows that we have over on this side right like with these guys right there. I think these look very cool. Maybe we'll do two wide windows instead of three wide so we can make them taller and skinnier and longer and make it look much more grand. But I'll mess around with that. I'll be back to you guys once I have a small idea and I can show you how it's all going to work. All right, for the first time, guys, we're taking a step back to take a look at this one right here. And I think I've got a decent plan going so far. I thought the sun was getting dark or I thought the sky was getting dark. I was like, dang it, it's nighttime again. Anyways, I really like what it's looking like here. Give you guys a little bit of a farther back look right there. I brought in the spruce and or the trap doors on both sides. So we got the dark oak trap door with some spruce stacked on top of it to give it a little bit more depth. But anyways, what this guy is here is basically we just got a slab right there coming up into a polished anisite block and then some white pane, uh, white stained glass panes over here in the back just to give a little bit more depth again. And then we got this nice little frame going on up here using our trap doors. In the middle, I wanted to bring in an anvil with some cobblestone on top of it just to kind of help that be a little bit denser. Then we got our upside down stairs up there. It's looking pretty great. We got the nice pillar bits on the side using that polished anisite, then the two stone brick and kind of stacking that all the way up with the little ones inlaid on it as well. I think this was looking pretty good so far. Still very much a work in progress. Still kind of seeing what it's going to be looking like, but I think from out here that'll look pretty cool. I know this one is blocked by that tower wall right there. I'm okay with that window being like that. It's just going to be a more complete look seeing with everything right there. So I'll tell you guys what. I need to go ahead and copy that over to this side so we can get both these side bits done. And then I will come back with you guys. And you know, it's probably actually going to be the exact same on this guy right in here too. So I'll get that done. And then I want to bring you guys in while we try and work out how, how these diagonal ones work. Because I think those would be a pretty fun and interesting there. So I'll be back with you guys as soon as I can. Welcome on back everybody. I have been laying down a little bit of groundwork here so that we can get things moving forward a little bit more efficiently. And by that, I went ahead and brought in our brick floor pattern that we're using out here. And I went ahead and reorganized the polished andesite just a little bit. So it's kind of a cool pattern here. Basically what I did was started here, went forward to and skipped two going forward like that. And then going on these angles, I skipped one and did every single other and then kind of copied that going all the way over so that it created this kind of cool pattern that depending on the way you look at it, looks like it's a different angle almost. And I like the end result that we got going on there. Now, up here in these points, we do have some cool stuff going on out in the front. You can see right over here, we got this one finished up. I think we were working on that guy last time. And then over here, the middle one is now finished up as well, just being the exact same as that. And then I went ahead and got this little guy right here placed in as well. Those blocks are temporary. And I'm going to show you guys how we built up this guy right here over on that far side in just a second. But that's what I'm thinking for these middle ones. I actually want to go ahead and bring the roof up to two points here on the middle. And then we'll have the, just a flat like area in between right there. Now, I've got a cool idea for what's going to be going on up above. Got this one in here as well. So as you guys can see, we got lots of stuff coming on over here. Uh, we need a lot of our stone brick. We need a lot of our smooth stone. We need a lot of stone slabs. And good to go from there. Hopefully got we do got a lot of walls as well. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get this guy going here. Okay, so first thing we can do is we can actually go ahead and on both of these guys, we're actually going to go ahead and literally just bring this all the way up to the top here. For now, we'll go uh, bring that up to two higher so it's actually just full on finish. That'll be a good guide marker for where we need that in a second. Should be up to there. Cool. And then this middle guy, we're going to go ahead and actually tear him down for a quick sec. Sorry, loud cars going by, but what we can do in here is do polished andesite, polished andesite, and then bring these guys out to being on the side right there. That's just going to be another set of stone bricks there. And then in the middle, of course, we are going to go ahead and bring in our cobblestone wall, bringing this guy all the way up to the top right along there. 
Then while we're working this one up, we can go ahead and grab those smooth stones that we are working with. Let's go and organize this a little bit better than what we got here. So we're going to bring these guys going all the way up and kind of just stacking everything throughout here. It should be pretty cool as we're building all of it up. I'm hoping that the end result actually kind of has the look that I want it to have. This is kind of, I'm making it up as we go here. I have a general idea for what I want this thing to look like, but we'll, we'll see how it looks in the end. I'm hoping it works out. I think it's also the loudest point in the day right now for me to be recording. Let's see, where do we want to, we want to go ahead and actually bring this guy back down here and then do bam, bring you there and then bring this up. And then I think right here we actually go ahead and no, it looks like it just comes up to being too higher. One, two, then we bring you up and bam, bam, and bam, bam. Cool. I think that's good. <laughs> All right, now we have both sides of these guys in here. And what we want to do from this point is actually go ahead and cut out every two blocks right along this point. We're basically going to bring this all the way down to the bottom, but we're going to be going ahead and filling that in with our smooth stone. Again, just kind of creating that speckled pattern that we have throughout the rest of our build. Just trying to add that extra little bit of depth into everything here and going down to there. And then we can quickly grab these guys in here as well. Just bam, bam, and then bring in that guy. And then here we can go ahead and just do our stone brick going all the way down to the side. And that is looking pretty good so far. That's kind of the general shape of everything that we got in here. I do need to go ahead and ender pearl my way back up to here. And what we want to do from here basically is grab our white stained glass and bring this guy all the way up to the top and the bottom on both sides of these. And that should pretty much create the window for us. And we do have one or two little things that we need to place back down out here. For one, stone slabs right like that. And I think that's actually pretty much it for these guys. What I did want to do on top of it though, and see how this looks while I got you guys here, is I wanted to see what it would look like if we went ahead and brought in our dark oak and spruce trap doors that we've been kind of using throughout this area. Let's see, can we go ahead and get you guys? And good, we need to get one more. <laughs> and perfect, cool. So. If we go ahead and do that guy right in here, and that should be pretty good. Bam, jump up on top of this, and we can do dark oak, and then we can get the spruce going in all the way up and down that guy. Bam, bam, bam. Fill in, there we go, cool. Fill in all that stuff in there. Get rid of you, and we can go ahead and take a little bit of a step back here. I like that. I think that's pretty consistent theme-wise with everything else we've got going on. Let me go ahead and get a little bit more work done here as far as what the roof's going to be looking like. I might do a little bit of planning throughout the rest of this guy. I'll be back with you guys as soon as I can get that set up. All right, time for another update here for you guys. And this thing is actually looking really cool. I'm really happy with how it's looking right now. So I went ahead and added in our prismarine strip going all the way along the outside. You can see that right there. You can see kind of that little prismarine glow going right along that border that top border part that's going to kind of connect up to where our roof is. And I think it actually turned out pretty cool. I actually really like how this one's looking. So I've been doing a little bit of planning up here. Let's see if we can smash her face into the floor right there. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. And I realized how I want to go ahead and kind of take this structure right here, how I want to go ahead and kind of have a top structure up here. Cause I've planned on the whole time having some sort of like a study area or basically having it so that people actually like live above the mess hall area or the cafeteria or whatever dining hall feast hall thing uh so i want to go ahead and extend this out to a bit of having a not a a like rooming area up here on the top somewhere with maybe some offices some area for people to live in etc well they are within the general area of like the feast hall so i want to have that upward area that we can kind of have some stuff in here and I think overall, I like the plan for it. So basically, these are going to be like seven tall walls right up in here. Then it's going to kind of plan. My plan is to have it just kind of stretch along that whole area, having just like another long bit right here. Similar roof style to probably this guy. And I want to go ahead and have a balcony built in out here on the front bits to it. So lots of just planning updates. And we're falling off. Lots of planning updates in this clip, unfortunately. I'm still trying to get my ideas out there. Wanting to bring you guys in just to give you a little bit of a heads up here on how everything's looking. So basically it's right like this. I wanna have this part be a balcony, so the actual structure is gonna start right there. We're gonna have that roof going up and back down right there with our dirt similar to that same slope right there. I can't go much higher or else it's gonna make that tower right there not look super tall either, but maybe when we actually finish that little top bit on it, that'll look better as well. 
But yeah, so what I wanted to do over in this area actually is I wanted to go ahead and make it so that we had a balcony on this side as well. So I wanted to go ahead and have this guy actually stepping out here. You walk up a few steps or maybe we have this start from like the second floor or the top of that area or something. Maybe, I don't know, we might actually have to raise that up or raise lower this area down one or something. I don't know. But regardless, I wanted to go ahead and have some sort of a floor or balcony area out here. Similar to what we're doing with that guy over on that side, I want to have somewhere for people to come out onto this top bit so they can kind of walk around, get a view of everything out over here. And we'll have the roof bits kind of come up to here and then they'll kind of have a border on it going around, similar to exactly how we did on the far side out there. And we can make this actually look pretty freaking cool, I hope. So I got a lot of work to do here. I got a lot of planning things to get through in my own brain and I'll be back with you guys once I have a bit better idea. I think this is a little too crazy here. So let me get this under control, I'll be back. I decided to go ahead and bring our purper back in and this looks a little interesting for me in here with that prismarine color right there into that purper color. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it looks from the outside at least. It's looking pretty good so far. So what we got out here, we can go ahead and take a look at while we're kind of flying around all this good stuff is we got just this basic basic shape for the roof right up here and i think it does a good job i love with the prismarine kind of laid in there a little bit let's go and land on this tree down here i've been using this guy quite a bit and we can see that just kind of color lines and details and everything in there like that i really do want to go ahead and change this purple texture out for being more of like a scales or a roof shingles or something like that i think that could look a lot better and maybe we could use it for some fantasy dragon builds or something like that down the road I've decided that I want to go ahead and up here have these guys. Actually, that's not how I want to do that. Uh, I want to go ahead and have this area actually drop down so that we're standing at this level, which allows us to drop that back down there a little bit as well to kind of give us ourselves a little bit more room to work with up here as far as detailing that side of the face there, because otherwise it'd be literally at that roof border would be where we walk out of it. So we're going to go ahead and do this. It should be pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of work on getting a few more things in here uh, throughout, just getting in last little bits of detail, things like that. For the, I wanna focus really on finishing up that front side out there. I did go ahead, I think this is gonna be the same type of pattern we're gonna be using for the walkway platform out there, just so we can have some of this type of stuff. Then I'm thinking later we'll come back in and actually detail out everything into the, those lower areas as far as what the as far as what the whole feast hall itself looks like down here, I figured we could go ahead and actually build the interior for this one because I think we can actually get a really cool plan for it. I think I'll have a lot of fun making it. So we're going to come back in and actually do this guy later. Not in this episode because obviously I want to focus on getting the actual build and structure itself up. But I actually do want to plan on coming back to this castle and finishing up a lot of the interiors in here because we're kind of making it like this big open living area where you're kind of flowing from one room to another. And I was just watching one of my old videos, just added randomly popped up on my feed as somebody commented on it. So I went to check it out. And wow, I still say kind of a lot. I was watching that. I was like, wow, that's that's all over the place. And literally every four or five words and I'm struggling not to say it right now. Somebody start the whip kind of counter and let me know how we, we get in this episode. I'm going to try and lower that one down. I'm going to try and work on that again. I know I did a while ago. I got pretty good on it. So I'm going to do my best to try and get back down there. And, you know, actually have useful words in here. I'm planning on almost like moving into a different, not different way of talking, but I want to pick my words more carefully, maybe do shorter clips and things like that to make it just a little bit more efficient because I feel like some of these videos drag on a bit. So I'm going to try and work on that moving forward. So yeah, anyways, back to building, done with blabbing. I'll catch up with you guys when I got another update for you. Sorry, it's so many updates today instead of actual building, but yeah. Our roof is now in place for the most part on here and it's looking pretty freaking awesome. Figured I'd bring you guys back in to show a little bit of shaders love to this world down here and this thing is looking pretty great. Flying up into this area, we got a lot of extra detail and a lot of work going on in here and I'm super happy with this guy so far. As you can see around this little area, we have our little bit of a guardrail set up here and that guy's actually the wrong way. We want to have that facing down and basically it's a polished diorite block and then two stairs and then here in the middle is just to kind of blend them in a little bit. We're doing this little bit with an extra polished iron with some slabs on there. And then it comes into these guys. I went ahead and started arching up the roofs here just to make them look a little bit better and a little bit more in place here. And I'm thinking some windows kind of dotted in throughout these little bits right in there will fit in just perfectly. 
So we can go ahead and kind of raise these bits or clear those bits out right there, get some windows in them, and that'll be looking pretty awesome, I'm hoping. When we come back over here, I think it gives a really grand feel. I love that this middle one is slightly taller and slightly larger than the rest. Originally, I had them all at three wide and it didn't work out too well. So I'm really happy that I made that change. Now, I did come in here as I think I've shown you guys before and I had a little bit of prismarine in here built up ready to go kind of for us to place in there and I want to make this one very visible because it's not very common and it's only that block and another one right there so I'm going to do a slab above and a slab below just to kind of help it blend in there a little bit more and it should be looking pretty good right like there then we can go ahead and fly up here I realize I've used so many rockets while building up this castle in general I've used more rockets here than I probably ever use in the world I've had to repair my elytra so many more times than ever I have not done this backside yet but I think what we're going to focus on is getting the roof in from this point over to there as you can see that same pattern with these spiky bits coming all the way up are here with anvils on the top then cobblestone wall dark oak fence iron bar now I need to go ahead, change this stuff out here, and get a roof in place. And I think we're going to go with that same light blue color that we have right there, just so the light blue terracotta or cyan terracotta, whichever it is, uh, light blue terracotta, I think we're going to go ahead and use that guy just to kind of keep things in here consistent. Let me go ahead and get that stuff thrown up here, guys, and we'll see how this is checking out in the end. I've not even turned around to take a look at this thing, so let's see what this is looking. Ooh. That's pretty nice for a first glimpse or first glimpse glimpse whatever you want to call it that's actually looking pretty good let's go ahead and take a little bit look from up here at above I actually really like that I think that actually does a pretty good job of being kind of smoothed out but still roughened up and everything like what we want here with our kind of different edges especially because we have that such a rough area down there that's so high detailed with all those little bits I think adding that into what we have going on up here actually works really really well so if we actually came through here and we did every other bit going all the way throughout uh so one and then two open so that we can throw some iron bars in here that might look pretty good does this Ooh, it works perfectly i love that i love when a plan like that comes together okay let's go ahead and grab some iron bars i think i have a few down here i think that'll make it look a lot better up there 31 should hopefully be enough iron bars so we can go ahead and jump on up here throw this stuff in if we can make it land it cool good and bam bam bringing these guys all the way along make sure we get our terracotta bits back because we are running really low on the stuff i am that's all we, ah, we got a little over four stacks here left okay let's take a look at this roughing up the top there hopefully breaking away that consistent pattern that we had and i love it that's awesome that is so so wonderful this is making me very, very oh we're so close to making that jump or that little bit right there very cool so awesome all right now what do we need to do next obviously we got to get texture variation in here we got to get all those little things throughout this whole area there is a skeleton down here somewhere that's spawned, but he's fine he can live down there and we got to go ahead and get all that rest of the stuff in i don't know how much that will be able to get done in today's episode just because this one has taken me a lot longer than i thought it would uh let's go and grab some white stained glass jump ourselves back up there i'm playing with the idea of you guys just saw this video two days ago now, I think, depending on when the release schedule is yesterday or two days ago, where we toured around that Conquest vanilla survival server. And I'm really playing with the ideas of retexturing our glass so it actually looks better. I love what they did with the different types of glass. So it's more like a shutters. You can't really see through it. The stained glass really gives a lot of warmth and depth and just different atmosphere and everything like that to the builds that you're actively inside. And I kind of want to go ahead and echo that a little bit in our own world. I think I want to go ahead and start looking at, into experimenting with ideas with doing that type of stuff right here. So you might see some of that those texture remakes for me here coming in the near future. I'm thinking about doing something like this, but maybe with some wood there instead of stone brick. That could be kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, playing with a bunch of ideas in my main, in my mind right now for textures that we could redo. So if you guys watched that tour yesterday and have ideas for things that we can remake to kind of improve the overlook in here, let me know. I'd be I'm very very open to hearing those things. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to work here. I'll be back to y'all when I got an update. All right, everybody, welcome on back. This castle has gone through a few more changes beyond what we were showing originally there's our derpy windmill here in the background and i'm so excited to turn around and show you this to you guys just check this out too many times bam look at that that is so cool we got the foliage coming all the way along the bottom of this and i am so happy with that i think that looks awesome i love the purple and lavendery colors 
that we have going throughout that area. We got our roof bit in place right there. We got those epic points up there just sticking out so cool, making it look very gothic. Kind of out of the style of the rest of the castle, but I kind of want to move it more into that direction. There's two kind of already. Beyond that, I went ahead and actually added in this tower right here as well because I felt like this wall was too flat. And what better time to come in here and actually do some detail work on it when we're working on this massive thing out here. So I went ahead and added that guy in real quickly with a little bit of a blue highlight to the roof up there. So it just stands out a bit more from the rest of the roof. Lastly, I went ahead and detailed out that wall segment right over there. So we got all of that cool stuff in here as well. And guys, this is looking freaking insane. I love this thing. Check this out up here. We got this awesome area to hang out in. I brought some end rods in after a lot of people were suggesting that we use them. And check this out. Got the banners in here too. And this is looking so freaking cool. I love this thing. I'm so happy with this. I'm really, really pumped with how this turned out in the end. For a while there, I was a little like, ooh, this is a big project. This is a lot to tackle. But I think as I slowly just kind of chugged along with the project today, it really started to come together. I know this is a bit of a longer episode, and due to the length of this one, though, guys, there is only going to be one Building with Whip survival episode for this week, at least working on the castle. Friday, there will be another episode finishing up our holiday build, building up an awesome version of Santa's sleigh. Make sure you guys check that one out. It's super cool. I had a lot of fun building that guy. And it's, it's different. It's not a sleigh, I'll tell you that much, but it is very cool. It's very kind of in tune with dwarves. If you're familiar with World of Warcraft at all, that might give you a clue of what our flying mechanism is there. That being said, though, it's time for our commenter question of the day. This one is coming in from Sir or Wizard Sir Avery, and he's saying, "Been loving the progress on the castle. You should do the stuff in front of it, in front of the castle, to make it look extra nice and spicy in front. Also, it'd tie it more into the city. What is the name of the castle, by the way? So, did not mean to pause there." I need some help with the name of the castle. If you guys have ideas for what we should be naming this bad, big bad boy up here, let me know. I am very curious and I'm very, I, I suck at coming up with names, so I'm very open to listening to your guys' suggestions here. Remember, it is a wizard-themed castle. It's more of a university than a castle, I guess, here. The other castle we have in this world is called Port, or Castle Bleak Rock. This, this city here is called Port Latour. And we need a name for our castle up here. We got White Glen, the farming village, out there. And we got to somehow tie all those guys together. So if you guys have ideas on what we can name this guy over here, I'm very, very curious. I'm very much looking forward to hearing the suggestions or reading the suggestions down below. That'd be super cool to have a bunch of them down there. I, I suck at this. So I'm, I'm relying a lot of you, on you guys here to be able to bi build this guy up a little bit better and give it a good old fantastic name to go along with the build here. However, the second point that Sir or Wizard Wizard here is talking about well, <laughs> that, uh, is building up. Wow, that has not rained in this world for a very long time. That's very dark. Holy cow! Can we sleep? No, bummer. Okay, well atmospheric ending to this video so he's talking about building up this area over here which i think it could be a really fun way to transition after we finish the castle kind of focus on building up there's three kind of in this clip uh focus on building up this area right here so basically getting all these houses in getting this stuff in over here as well as finishing up this front area right here making sure we got that port wall going all the way over there get in a few houses in little areas laid out down in this area as well as the bridge over here that we keep hopping over this little cobblestone pile right there then building up those two houses back in here i think that'd be a cool idea i am however it's raining i can't take off my wings are wet i am playing with the idea however of coming over into this area i think i've mentioned a few times to you guys of coming back over into right here and building up a little bit of an area over here kind of like a farmstead something else over here after doing that conquest tour where we checked out the conquest of vanilla survival world that duke on red one king of light and a few other people go play on constantly if you guys missed that episode that came out on monday the 24th make sure you check that out it was amazing sausage and i went and toured around their world it's so so cool they those guys are amazing builders and they did all that in vanilla survival with the conquest resource pack though but one person on there i think it was Faraskin. i can't remember exactly i could be wrong here might have been caligath but they built up an really really cool winery and i would love to actually throw a winery with a bunch of vineyard fields and things like that over in this area 
and just add some cool life and depth and just just different stuff into this area here. I think that'd be really cool. Sorry that the shaders are kind of messing with our view here, but it's very atmospheric. Look at that castle poking out in the distance back there. Ooh, that does look very cool. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. Let me know what you guys want us to be focusing on next. Should we work on a little winery over here or should we work on that little section of the city there and try and finish that guy up? I'm thinking after we finish up the castle, my goal is to do, if we do the winery, we'll do that in about two to three episodes. And if we do that guy over there, I'm planning five to six episodes for it. I don't want to have any projects kind of be the same number of episodes as this guy without swapping things up because we're on episode nine now. I love to be able to extend these out into new things. But anyways, that's just me blobbing along about kind of general plans of this. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode. I really hope you guys have had a fantastic holiday. Please hit that like button if you would be so kind. Subscribe if you are new and I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>